If you like what you're hearing on the phillytech.org netcast network, please consider supporting the network with a small monthly donation via patreon.com slash phillytechorg. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-h-i-l-l-y-t-e-c-h-o-r-g. And thank you in advance. You're listening to The Interview Show with Seth Goldstein on the phillytech.org netcast network. Thank you to our sponsors, wistia.com, Zoho Mail, and getflywheel.com. Hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of that interview show on phillytech.org. I am here with Rick from getflywheel.com, or Flywheel is their official name. I assume you couldn't get flywheel.com, right? Getflywheel.com, yeah. Yeah, because I even go to Flywheel by accident, and it's in like you know, Uber service, and I'm like, yeah, that's a cab company. We get that question a lot. Yeah, getflywheel.com. Yeah. Get getflywheel.com, and you're Hey Flywheel on Twitter, right? Yep. Exactly. Very cool. And I want to thank our sponsors, one of which is Flywheel. Um, at getflywheel.com. Check them out. They're a WordPress optimized hosting company, and they're out in Omaha, right? Yep, Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Yeehaw! Yeah, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I live in a city. There's no farm fields anywhere near us. Don't worry. But uh, there's no cows. Yeah. I, you know, we won't hear any cows in the background. Well, I mean, a half hour drive. Half hour drive. Oh, half hour. Look, I live in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Right up the street from us are cows, so I can't, really knock, I can't really knock it. I should be the one that's going hee-haw. <laughs> I also want to thank Wistia at Wistia.com. They're doing our video hosting. Aweber.com, who is our email email marketing company that helps us with the email marketing. And Zoho Mail that is does our, well, I don't know about their save, but our email. So thank you, guys, and onward and upward to the interview. So, Rick, what is Flywheel. I kind of already alluded to it since you are a sponsor, but what yeah, is sure. Flywheel? Like, why why do people care? Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good question. Um, Flywheel is a managed WordPress hosting company, and we're built, you know, kind of specifically for designers and creative agencies. So that basically means that we build tools and uh, you know workflow uh, improvements for creative agencies that we work with. So we don't sell to a lot of end users so much as the uh, the creative agencies in between the end users. So our goal is really to make their lives easier, and if we can do that, then uh, um, then we're doing our job. Very cool, very cool. And um, how for how long are you out of college? I think you're young, and aren't you? <laughs> uh, well, me, I'm uh, 33, so I'm, two, I'm old. So four, four years, four years. Yeah, so <laughs> 26. I'm 26. I, I've been out for a while. It seems like forever, actually. I think, actually really? Do you miss <laughs> it? Do you miss it? No, not in any uh, world. No. <laughs> no, you're running your own business. I mean, come Wait, on now. It's like you, you, do you miss college? I mean, honestly, there's, there's elements of it I miss. The, 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 you know, not having to have to worry about the bills and stuff like that, but you know. I guess there is that. Yeah. There is that exactly, exactly. So, um, what what made you start a WordPress optimized hosting company? Like, what what inspired you to do that? Uh, so out of college, I. Uh... I was working for actually my now partner uh, at a web development company, and we worked with um, creative agencies. Uh, a lot of agencies, we were kind of their um, their back end developers. So they design everything, they throw it over the fence, we build it. And that was before Fly or excuse me, before WordPress was kind of powerful enough to manage websites entirely, as far as a content management system is concerned. Um, mm -hmm. About a year out of college, I quit my job and I went full time freelancing. So I um, I built. Oh WordPress. wow! You took the plunge. Yeah, I took the plunge, and um, and I for two years I was freelancing, building websites for clients, um, all on WordPress, and I worked with a lot of companies kind of in the Midwest. And um, what I realized is I was as a designer, kind of my background's in design. I actually went to school for computer science, but really I probably should have went to design school because I'm not I'm not the best programmer in the world. But um, oh. don't, tell, don't tell anyone that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Luckily, my two partners are you know like way up here as far as intelligence goes. So, um, but the reality is, I was I was a designer. It's kind of my background. Um, I would design the websites. I'd have a blast doing it. You know, um, these websites for clients. But what I realized is, I still had to kind of manage the hosting infrastructure. And even with my technical background, um, I wasn't uh, wasn't you know well suited for it. And and honestly, all I really wanted to do was design websites. So Flywheel really came out of um, an idea of how to you know, solve 
um, my problem, assuming that lots of other designers and, and creative agencies have that problem. Uh, so about two years ago, I pitched the idea to my two partners now, and um, I've kind of been full time since then, uh, trying to build a great managed WordPress hosting company and um, and really build tools that, that creative agencies can, can make use of. And full disclosure, my company, Goldstein Media, uses Flywheel, and we love them. And, and actually, a, a good good case study for it is that we actually went from we went from I think DreamHost, you know, not knocking them, but we went from like you know a, a VPS over there. And then Rick said, hey, we'll sponsor you. And I moved our phototech.org site, which was not that big of a site. It's actually a quite small site because everything's, everything's kind of spread out and not all in the same spot. Night and yeah. day. Night and day. I mean, it's like super fast, super responsive. When your DNS provider crashes on you, there's not much Rick can do for you, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's not, a, that's not our forte. But, uh, no, but, but yeah, the support is great, too. Yeah, I was gonna say we focus on you know making sure that WordPress sites are fast and secure. All the techie stuff that goes into hosting a website, you know, we want to manage for you so you don't have to. And um, and outside of that, you know, we also provide, uh, like Seth said, you know, uh, exceptional support. So mm -hmm. we go a little bit further than most hosting companies, and we're you know employing a bunch of WordPress developers, myself included, just just guys that have gals that have built WordPress sites in their in their past lives. So um, what that means, you can ask you know pretty much any question regarding WordPress, and there's a good chance that we've seen it once or twice. Uh, and if we haven't seen it, we're going to be excited to dive into it and figure out what the problem is, knowing that we're going to see it again. So, yeah, it seems like Dan lives on the um, chat. Yeah, Dan. Dan is our chat guy. So yeah, if you uh, if you hop on the giftlevel.com right now and, and say hi to Dan, uh, he'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And tell, yeah, tell like, him I'm like, I'm like <laughs> Yeah, and that's going to find out. I'll go on there. I won't even introduce myself. I'll say, Dan, it broke. <laughs> or Dan, something something's wrong. And he's like, well, it's not us, but this is how you fix it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. never it's you good. guys. It's just great. It's always something I do. I always, bro I'm always breaking something. So, yeah. but, so and, and that's, that's, what, that's why I stopped programming. Pretty. <laughs> so definitely. So, um, so you went to school. Where did you go to school? Uh, here in Omaha, Nebraska, at uh, Nebraska, uh, University of Nebraska at Omaha. So, um, so what, the, what's the uh, master? Nebraska University. What's the master? Uh, what's the master? No, see that's the that's the one in Lincoln. Ours is actually the Omaha-based university, and that's uh, the Mavericks. So, Ooh, the uh, Mavericks. Yeah, yeah. So it's so much more. Uh, you know, it's 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 better than a, a corn husker, right? As far yeah, as what uh, is a corn husker? Seriousness. Uh, someone who husks corn. So. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's you're, a you're a cowboy, so it's a little bit better. Yeah, I say. Well, we're a we're a bull. That's what a maverick is. They're a bull. Hey, I don't I don't live in the I don't I don't. <laughs> On Nebraska, buddy. So, you know. Yeah, I know. You got bulls and corn huskers. In corn huskers. After I just said that, I live 30 minutes from a farm. So. Well, what's kind of funny is that I went to Delaware, and our um, our mascot's a giant blue chicken. Well, there, there you go. Sure. So I can't, <laughs> I can't really knock mascots. I mean, he's a pretty cool chicken. You know. Fierce, fierce. We're playing, we're playing blue hens. We're not <laughs> blue chickens. We're playing blue hens. Hens, yeah. even. I like that. That's good. Yeah, you know, your hens. You know, he's a guy. I don't really get it. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. So. So, so you got out of college and you decided that you were gonna you went you went into freelancing mm -hmm. and then you decided, all right, you're gonna then you found the issues that you were having with hosting and you decided, yeah. all right, let's set up our own company and do that. So how long has Flywheel been open for? So we're going on uh, we just had our second birthday last month. So Oh, happy um, birthday. Yeah, so two years now. Um, going into our third year. We're now at um, I think eighteen people. So uh, uh, growing pretty quickly. And, uh, and um, I'm pretty excited for 2015. I think it's going to be a fun year. And it's kind of getting to the point now where we, we have enough bandwidth to kind of build the cool things that we've been talking about for a long time. And, and up until wait. now, we've, we've been focusing on lots of, you know, support and hiring the people to, to make sure that we can support customers like Seth and uh, <laughs> that ask too many questions. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, oh, but, yeah, <laughs> exactly. but two years, um, and moving on our third year, so we're excited for 2015. We'll be building lots of, like, um, you know, Product features and, and things that you know uh, that you don't see in the managed hosting space that uh, that I can't talk about quite yet, but we're pretty excited. Oh shucks, no, no exclusive. Come on now, buddy. I can tell you what's coming down the pipe. We're we're working on uh, we'll be launching an affiliate program. We get that question a lot, um, so that'll be coming out pretty soon. White labeling. White labeling. Yeah. We get we get the white labeling question a lot. I can't speak to that right now, but um, nah. but we're also rolling out our staging feature um, to. Yeah, the I public. saw that. That looks really neat. Yeah, so it's in private beta right now, but soon you'll be able to launch a site, you know, and then make a staging version, which will put it on a temporary URL where you can make changes to your site safely uh, and ready, ready for them to go live. You can just 
push the, the button to push them to your live site so you don't have to worry about breaking your site when you're redesigning or you know adding pages or something like that. Yeah, I can't wait for that because you know right now I right now what I do is I have a separate server all the way over there yeah. and it's like it's like domain slash you know robot text blocked folder block, you know right. five folders okay. in, and then like tell my client I have to end up shortening the URL and say go to this URL but then it's gonna really be this URL and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's complicated. This is the things that we, you know, those those are things that designers and developers experience every day. As far as how do I how do I manage the staging version of my site? Uh, usually, it is on like some crappy um, hosting environment somewhere where they don't pay much for it, so it's slow. When you show your client, they worry about speed, uh, and then you have to figure out how to migrate it to the production environment. So oh, we're trying to solve all those little problems and yeah, make it I, real simple. So. That's what I love about us about Flywheel. They will migrate your site for you. I love that. I say, here, there's other credentials. You mess with it. And they say, oh, give us 24 hours. And literally, eh, give them a few hours and they jump on. And if there's any problems, they say, hey, where, you know, this, this tried this, but didn't work. What about this? If Preston was helping me with my last one. That's good, yeah. Give him yeah, so I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan and Preston, all right, I got them both. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, it, the, the migration thing is something that we set out really early on to, mm -hmm. to offer because, again, um, coming from my background, I know that one of the, the, the hardest things to do when trying on a new service, a hosting service, is migrating your site there. I mean, it's always your job, and, and boy, is it scary. So a lot of people get caught in the, the place where they know their hosting is not the best. Maybe it goes down a lot, but it's never painful enough to move, even though you know you'd be better off somewhere else. So, uh, so we offer free migrations. If you wanted to try Flywheel for free, um, you know, we'd migrate it over, let you, let you see how it performs, and really you only pay us when, when you're happy. So. Exactly, you know, with, within reason, right? Within reason. <laughs> and, um, yeah, within, within reason. Within reason. Let's not say, oh, I'll we'll leave it up there for 40 days and 40 nights. I mean, come on now. <laughs> so. so where can they find you online? Like, Yeah, so uh, as mentioned, we're at getflywheel.com. That's G-E-T, flywheel.com. And uh, you can also follow us on Twitter and uh, Twitter at HeyFlywheel and Instagram at GetFlywheel as well. So uh, really just head over to hey our get. website. Yeah. Hey Flywheel on Twitter. We thought that was cool because people would like tweet at us and say Hey Flywheel, uh, oh, but now it's getting confusing. But that's alright. <laughs> and why why is it called Flywheel? Uh, good question. Um, you know, we had lots of names picked out, and uh, and some of them kind of were other companies that we worried that you know they, they wouldn't yell at us, but it'd be confusing. So uh, we ended up with Flywheel. Flywheel is kind of uh, for. Uh, um, surface. We like the, the word fly. Well, you can play with it in lots of ways, branding with the word fly, and uh, it also signifies speed when you say fly. Um, but also, um, it, under the surface, it's a very technical concept. A flywheel powers engines, um, and, and we like it because that kind of represents flywheel. On the surface, we're very creative. We work with design agencies. We try to simplify things, build beautiful user experiences, uh, but underneath, it's a really robust uh, hosting platform, um, and that's why we're called Flywheel. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Rick, where can they find you online if they want to stalk you personally? Yeah, uh, you can find me at Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash uh, Rick Knudsen. So I don't know if you put the name up there, but uh, it's just my name, uh, all one word, on Twitter. Awesome, Rick. Well, thank you for being on the show, and thank you for sponsoring us, and thank you for being a great host that hosts all my clients' websites. <laughs> thank you, Seth. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right.